Bob Thompson has worked in Knob Hill for several years. As he was ending his workday last week, he started his car and it made a loud noise. I immediately called my mechanic who I said, listen to this, and I started the car up, and he said instantly, oh, they took your catalytic converter. Thompson says nearly everyone he talked to had a similar issue. The dealership, they said, we've had so many of these, we can't even get the parts for it. That's how many are being stolen. I talked to somebody back east for my insurance. They said they're stealing them here. He says he wants to make sure people are vigilant. And if I was driving along and saw somebody underneath the car, I probably wouldn't have given it a second thought. Now. I will suspect somebody's stealing something from that car. Oftentimes, the catalytic converter is not the only part of the car that's damaged. This is an oxygen sensor that came from this car, and these are a whole bunch of them that came from other cars with the same exact problem. It fairly increases the price anywhere from $100 to $200 if they decide to cut off the sensor. Oftentimes it's connected to the catalytic converter, so they end up taking the whole thing. APD spokesperson Rebecca Atkins says because the issue has been on the news, they are seeing fewer thefts. We really have seen a bit of a decline in this and not so much of these thefts happening as much as they were. At this mechanic shop, they recommend a cage or a chain to prevent the catalytic converter from being stolen. For the chains, it's anywhere from, I would say, 75 to 120. Um, so as they're trying to cut it off from the bottom of the car, it makes it pretty hard. They'll be able to get it off, but good luck cutting the chain. Reporting in Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. APD recommends parking your car in a garage if you have one or in a well-lit area.